Welcome back. 2023 Nevada Archery Bull Tag. Things start heating up. My daddy realizes he has to get home to irrigate, so I go alone solo, follow along in the morning as things heat up. So as my dad leaves, I head out that morning, get up on the hill to where I wanted to go. Uh, a lot of bulls bugling, uh, but I end up calling this bull in to 40 yards and boom, it happens so quick. I'll take it away from here. <laughs> It's hard. I'm excited, but I'm um, I'm just overwhelmed. I think I'm someone died or something, but I just killed a bull. My 2023 archery bull is down. What a roller coaster it's been, man. My dad had to leave this morning. I'm by myself, but I was going after a bull and it didn't pan out so I'm headed back to the freaking side by side and this bull cuts underneath me and I was like no way he's gonna give me a shot he comes up the hill and 40 45 yards took a frontal and hit him and I thought I hit him really good well I killed him don't get me wrong but uh he went about 500 yards I'm telling you, those frontal shots, I was going to pretty much throw my bow away after this because I swear I I thought I hit him the best I've ever hit. Um, it's just hard when you're archery hunting, you're, you're cow calling or bugling, they, they come right at you at that sound. But anyways, just uh, emotional, I'm trying to get a... I'm trying to get a text to my wife to try that bull's down. I think it's just the fact that she works so hard getting my kids and I've been gone for on and off for about 10 days. And you put so much into these hunts. People do not understand just the preparation, the hiking, the equipment. I mean, then the physical every morning, 3 a.m. to sometimes 10 o'clock, you know. Anyways, I know you guys probably want to see that bull. And I'm sorry, I've been all over the last few days. I'm so tickled with him. Look there. Check this out. Huh? <laughs> yeah, he's got two bigs off the back, little, little guys here. But all around, just I'm happy. There's a lot bigger bulls on this mountain, no question. But at the end of the day, he's my bull. and archery man i'm telling you now it's been seen a lot of bulls but closing the distance Whew. the people the amount of people i've run into guides i got this morning on my blood trail i met a guy who found it ran in my blood just it's unreal you know unreal anyways hell yeah thank you for the big man upstairs worked hard for them so i'm pumped i got a lot of work to do especially by myself, but that's the chances you take. So thank you. Thanks for sticking with me. Well, the old frontal shot, that's what did him in. I hit him a little off to the right, but that's where he, it was right there. So right behind that shoulder. I took that shot on a six by six uh, second day, a big one. I just got word that supposedly a guide found the deadhead in Hendry's. Um, I was over that way anyways. We'll see. Um, they said it was big. Um, I hit that shot on that elk. I, I, it was pretty close, but I think I was a little low on this, sh like, like in here, maybe. I don't know, but you can see I brought that up and the way the bull was, but uh, that's where the arrow was. It was like right there. Um, as you can see, he's dead. Um, so it worked. Happy. Um, pretty pumped. You know, that's a tough shot. 
I snuck it in there, the old Montex. Montex didn't break the arrow. Got full penetration. I mean, right up pretty close. You'll see in the picture anyways. I have some pictures, but to the fletchings, but I didn't miss the second time, which makes me feel good. I don't like those shots. I'm telling you, I don't try to. It's just the way that bull worked on me. Um, I, I felt confident, but I felt confident on the last one. So rule of thumb, as a be a good hunter take good clean ethical shots if you're confident in that and again I'm, I'm i'm gonna say for me and what i do i feel like i was confident enough but uh, i was sick that i hit the first bull um i kind of we went home right after that i didn't really know what i was gonna do but i kept hunting and there's the results so um i just hate ever losing an animal it's not something i want to do ever uh, but if you're a hunter and you hunt enough you're gonna do that um anyways signing off here's kind of how i found him I, I did put two more behind him in the shoulder uh but this is good penetration here well i said it would be easy right <laughs> every time you knock one down it's work um took the front off on that shoulder snuck it that's what killed him snuck it right on the side of that shoulder didn't hit it so got that bad boy hanging in the tree Snuck it right in behind it. Unbelievable. If I'd have been two, three inches to the right, I would have just hit me, hit that bone. But getting there by yourself, it takes a little while, you know? Slowly but surely. All right, check later. Hey, I think it's going to be a long day. I've just got the back and the front off. And, uh, fuck, that was an hour. I'm not going to lie, it's hard by yourself. I've done it, but it's like, you got to prowl a leg over. It's a mess. Oh, well. It's not like the cavalry's coming down the hill. <laughs> all you do is laugh. That's all I do. Anyways, back at it again. See you in a bit. All right. Not bad. About an hour and a half. Stuff's in the tree and shade best I can. Even took the hide off. So, I got to do a load to the side side. See if I can get a little closer and then out in that, start making, I don't know, two, three, five trips, four trips. So wish me luck. It's not, I mean, it's a lot of work. Plus I, I'm gonna have a load with all my shit. You know, it's funny, you take rain gear, you take all this shit. You never know, I hate fucking being stranded or out in the middle and then the rain shower, we got pissed on the other day. So I'm glad I had it. All right. All right update it's 12 34 got a load on front shoulder all my gear bow and back strap and heading down gotta go all the way down my bike about a mile and a half and then i gotta see if i can get closer so that's what it looks like Nothing's ever easy, you know? Oh. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh. Down. Oh. Anyways, it's about 100 pounds. Spotting scope and everything. Talking a bit. <laughs> Load one. Uh, I don't know why I'm videoing this. One of the hardest things I've ever done. I got a hind and a front and a back. I'm so tired. I've got to make big trips or I'm going to have so many. I still have cape, head, and another time. I'm telling you, I'm about a mile. Alright. 
but what do you do? 365, if I don't eat shit, you gotta do it. I'm by myself. What am I gonna do? I can cry about it, but get it done. That's what I'm doing. Getting it done. If I don't go get dehydrated, pass out. All right, out. Well. I made it to the bike. That last load kicked my ass. My ankles are just killing me. So I thought I'd have a bite to eat, have a sandwich. That's what I look like, a mess. Anyways, then head back up for another load. Um, see that knob right there? Um, that one right there? Yeah, I'm on the other side of that. You gotta go down, around, and then up, 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 and down, and then I'm on the other side, like, over. I gotta pin it, see how, see how far, I guess. But I, it ain't fun, how about that? I mean, as far as I'm eating, you know, but I'd like to add in the comments, how many of you would do an elk hunt solo? I'm being honest. Would you ever do one? I mean, would you just not go because you have no one to help you? I mean, that'd be brutal. My thought process is that today was the best day because I harvested a bull. And then right now, <laughs> the last three hours of processing and hauling out, it's been the worst, right? But it's funny when you're done and a day or two passes or a week passes or a month, you reflect on the memories, what you did, what you didn't do, what you should have did all that and that pain and discomfort was only for hours but the, the greatness and the love for it and you know god gave us this this place to or all the places to hunt and fish and, and it just goes by I and mean, then, then you miss it you wish you had five more tags you know i probably won't see this tag again for another 14 years, honestly. So, I had a blast. I got to hunt, you know. Did it myself. You know, I had help. I, I will thank you for Jay Davidson, and my dad, and Derek Sanbrepa came for a few days. But, uh, I mean, I didn't have a guided pulled up my trailer I'm a really well far away from here where I, I camp but it's been hard but I got to live it you know I did some off-grid hunting for about five days I'm talking on water filtration the whole works um, to camping you know regular with RV to you know done it all and I enjoy it That's all I can say I'm gonna finish my sandwich so you guys stay here and listen to me blab Check in later, huh? All right, slowing down, guys. I'm hurting. I just had to take a thousand milligrams of ibuprofen. I don't know. My legs feel like they're gonna give out. But we got Cape, another hind, and I. I oh, I took the leg off the last one. Issue I run into is trying to balance that on your back. You're not going to get a full hind in your backpack, or I mean, 
Unless I had a frame and I don't have my frame. Of course I didn't bring my frame. Unless I bone it and I thought about boning it. Which I probably should have, but so tired. So I just, I throw that sucker on my shoulder and then the cape. But it helps balance. I think it can help balance it. So I hold that leg right there at the end and put that meat right here on that shoulder. Anyways, this is trip three. I ain't lying, I'm in rough shape. And I've been taking breaks, but what? Oh. Oh. All right, check the way. Well, we did it, guys. About five o'clock. Bowl is loaded. I deserve a beer. Yes, I had beer in my side by side. I had one and it's cold. <laughs> Cheers, gentlemen, ladies. And uh, I think I need a bigger side by side. Kill bulls like that. You better have a bigger side by side. Horns stick out the other side. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Got her done. What a take. Shot him at eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, eight hours. We got her hide, head, back straps, tenderloins, fronts, and rears. Not bad. Appreciate you watching. 2023 got a seven by seven i couldn't believe it he's got seven he's not a monster seven but he's a seven by seven and they count so they can all kiss my ass but he's got two and then he's actually got two on his front double on his almost double so that makes them two, three, four, five, and then there's two on the end. Seven by seven. Hey, not the biggest bull. I'm very happy. 2023 starts with a bang. Three, six, five. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Boom. Again, thank you very much for everybody supporting and watching. I uh, appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the video of 2023 Bull Elk Tag.